are making breakfast for dinner. I'm so excited about this. Me too. We've got some yummy treats headed your way, and we're gonna start with one of my favorite breakfast foods, a quiche. Ooh. Ooh. And a quiche is kind of like a baked scrambled egg kind of thing with lots of cheese and bacon, lots of good things. So that's good already. Let's get some ready for it. All right, well, what we're gonna do first is we've chopped up some bacon. We have about eight pieces. If you wanted to use like ham, that's something that you had in the fridge, you can totally use that too. Sausage would probably work. Sausage would work. work. Yeah. Veggies would work. Ooh. We're kind of sticking to the traditional ham and, or bacon and cheese, so um, it's gonna be delicious. Erin, so we've got um, two cups of cheddar cheese. All right. We've got eight eggs in here that I've already cracked, and we're gonna mix the eggs, the cheese, and then one and a half cups of whipping cream in this bowl. Oh, Do you mind doing that for me? Sure. Okay. So eggs, if we got eight eggs in there, <laughs> one of the yolks broke, so that's okay. That's a little runny. And then all the cheese. All the cheese. All right. And I'll measure you out. Woo. One and a half cups, Let's see if I get this right, of heavy cream. Yum, the good stuff. While Erin's whisking that together, I'm gonna roll with a pie crust. We've got just a really easy store-bought pie, pie crust, and it's been sitting out for a few minutes for the directions. And, all right, here we go. Ooh, <laughs> throw that over there. Um, we have a cake tin, so we don't have to do dishes. It's not super deep, so it may not hold everything that we're whisking in here. I'll make this so they can see. Ooh, yum. So it's kind of like baked scrambled eggs Good. in a way. Yeah. And you can feel free to add some salt and pepper to that too, Erin, once you feel like that's mixed. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna roll this out. And you can also add any kind of seasoning. Oh, oh yeah. That. That's a lot of pepper. <laughs> As some of you know, Erin's from Louisiana, so I'm sure some Cajun spice would so probably be perfect, perfect, perfect for Erin. I was gonna say that, but not everybody knows what Tony Sachery is, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am just pressing down this pie crust, just making sure that it's in all of the corners because you want as much mixture to go in this as possible. Pressing it down again, this isn't the deepest dish, so I don't know if everything's gonna fit. So if you had a deeper dish at home, you could do that. Process over these. Fantastic. All right. Does now we go first. We're on the bacon first. Ooh, okay. And whisk that a little bit. You don't have oh, to... I don't need the whisk to whisk in the bacon. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I just put it in the cup that you whisked in. <laughs> Whoopsies. Um, and so we're just going to put that in there. I kind of did some medium pieces, some smaller pieces. You don't want to do anything too, too big because it will probably all sink to the bottom. All there we go. Right. Guys, this is super easy, delicious. Um, we have preheated the oven to 400 degrees. Now this does take quite a bit of time to bake. Um, it'll take about 45 minutes in the oven covered with foil. And then um, we, oh, I forgot the foil. Let me grab a piece really quick. Really, really quick. But yes, and you can pour that. Oh, I didn't want some of Where's the foil need to be? On top. Of what? It goes and bakes over it. Oh, over it. Yeah, got okay. it. Okay, we've got our foil now. We're ready to start pouring. Yep. Make sure the bacon gets in there. Oh, yeah. That's what you really want. That's what you want. Ooh, ooh. buddy, this looks good. It's gonna be a tight ooh. squeeze. But I think mean, that might be. Well, we'll one. do it all. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, well, first thing. Yeah. So, all right. So we've got the bacon cheese. We're gonna cover it with foil and bake it at 400 degrees for uh, 45 minutes. Then at 45 minutes, we're gonna take the foil off and then bake it again for another 15 minutes until it's ready. All right. You ready? All right. Let's go with that. Let's we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm about. I just took out the quiche out of the oven, and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It looks so good. Oh, it got a little brown on the edges, but that's okay. It's gonna taste delicious. It's got the crust here. 
the bacon, cheese. Oh, I'm so hungry. All right, guys, see you in our, in our next video for more breakfast for dinner. Hey, all you cool cooks and campers, welcome to Cooking with the Aaron's. Welcome Ooh. back to breakfast week. Here's one of my favorite recipes that somebody gave me once. Um, I was really weird. <laughs> but today we're making pumpkin cinnamon roll bread. Which is great any time of the year, but would be really good in the fall. Yes. But also any time of the year. So, what you need. So today is a little bit different. We're using almond flour and coconut flour. Um, we will put a recipe in there because it will need a little bit longer of a time if you're making it regular flour, or I'll just be a little bit different. Um, but excited to bring you guys an alternative to flour cool. recipe. And it tastes really good too, so don't be shy to try it. <laughs> it tastes phenomenal, trust me. So, the first thing I did was that we already have our two and a half cups of almond flour out. Okay. Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we washed our hands already. Yep. First thing to do. And also, don't forget to always ask your parents before you hop in and try one of our videos. I always forgot to say that. We did, that's okay. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make our cinnamon swirl. Yeah. So you just need a small bowl. And you need a fourth of a cup of coconut sugar. Ta-da. I'm gonna put that in here. Sure. And then we need two teaspoons. Ooh, teaspoons. Oops, let me grab a teaspoon. Hold please. Teaspoons. Oh, the teaspoon is right here. Fourth of a cup of coconut sugar. And two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Mm. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. We know it's summertime, but sometimes <laughs> a little pumpkin spice never. A little pumpkin spice never hurt too much. Let's keep it out with this guy. See, two teaspoons of the pumpkin spice? Yes. And you've got, looks like canned pumpkin over there. Oops. Syrup over there. That I just made this. It's totally fine. So then we're just gonna slice the gum spoon, but we're just gonna mix that in just a little bit. And we're gonna set our pumpkin spice swirl yeah. to the side for right now. It smells really good in here, y'all. <laughs> it smells, smells like really fall. Good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our almond flour, coconut flour, salt, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, and baking soda together. Got the salt. Got the okay. the Thank salt. you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour in our two and a half cups of almond flour, and then I'm gonna do our coconut flour. Here's the coconut flour, and just need two tablespoons of coconut flour. So one. So that goes in with the almond flour. Yes. Two. It has like a different texture. I don't know if y'all can see, but it's got a really it kind of looks like the moon sand. It makes it very, so whenever you use <laughs> almond flour or coconut flour combination, it definitely has a different texture flour, but it's so light. Like, yeah. I don't know how to explain it. I want to touch it, but I don't want to touch it. It looks like sand. It looks like sand, it looks like moon sand. I'm really excited to try this though. I have not tried this recipe, but I'm really excited to see what Erin's cooked up with here. Half a teaspoon of salt. This will be fun, I always spill this salt, so. It's always good to, it's like when you're measuring salt, don't put it over your bowl because if more goes in, it's really hard to get out and it will be really salty. So make sure you're salting over somewhere else. Woo! Like that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Then I need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Is that way? Love some cinnamon. Yeah. It's like fall in a bowl. It really is fall in a bowl. It's fall in a bowl. All right, up next is our Pumpkin spice. Another half teaspoon. Ooh, so pumpkin spice. Oh, we're just gonna a little bit more since I threw half of it out. There's more pumpkin spice on my counter than in any bowl. It's really good. You know, cooking is always messy. Cooking is Especially always messy. Especially cooking with the air. It's so true. It's so true, guys. But it's oh, fun. It's good. It is always fun. So I've already cracked two eggs. I'm gonna pour it in the bowl. 
I like the sound effect. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we love, um, so we love Top Chef at my house. I don't know if anyone else watches Top Chef. Mm. But there's a chef out here this season that like literally makes sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, communi- like that's what she said she communicates to her sous chef. She's like, and her sous chef's like, yeah, I'll chop up the onions or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's just what it is. <laughs> Since you're saying we have no. <laughs> All right, and that's half a cup of maple syrup. <laughs> like, what's the sound effect for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd probably be a good idea to use real maple syrup if you have some. Um, but if not, sugar free. Would you think sugar free would work too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Or you can use. Um, I sometimes. I, I don't, uh, it's called the Picanto maple syrup. Whoa. It is. I don't know what you would call this, but it's keto maple syrup. Yeah, you can use that too. So she's got some keto maple syrup too. I don't know if you can see it, but I've used this before and it works just as well. So <laughs> we, we don't promote any products here, people. <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> okay. Ah, and then last is our three fourths of a cup of pumpkin. Maybe, but it helped if I have a spatula. Yes, it would have really helped. The bed has plopped it in. And then do we have baking soda? Or is that last? Oh, yeah, I totally skipped over the half a teaspoon of baking soda. Erin, will you give me half of a teaspoon of baking yeah, soda? Yeah, of course. I'm really glad you caught that. Baking soda would be a huge component that's missing in, even though it's did half a teaspoon. Just, no, they didn't do it. I don't think they did it. I don't think they did it. Half a teaspoon. There you go. All right, and now we just combine it. So at what point, so you're mixing everything else. We still have the cinnamon swirl out. So what you're gonna do once it's all mixed up and um, you're going to get your bread pan, like an eight by eight, or like a loaf pan. Um, And it's an eight by eight inch pan. And then you're gonna line it with parchment paper. Now, I don't know why you line it with parchment paper. The directions just, said to line it with parchment paper. So I'm gonna follow the rules today and we're gonna line it with parchment paper. I don't know if it's fully necessary, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. And so then you're going to, once it's fully mixed, which it's not just yet, you're gonna do half of the mixture and then you're gonna layer it with your Pumpkin pie spice. Yeah. So, I'll show you in just a second. I can mix it. I probably should've gotten a spin instead of this guy. It might've been a little bit easier there. Mm-hmm. But it smells really it good. It smells like pumpkin. It smells so good. So, so good. Although, if you don't like pumpkin, it's probably what it's called. And for those of you who think pumpkin may be kind of overrated in the fall, just try it anyway and see what you think. Try it in the summer. If you mm-hmm. like pumpkin more in the summer. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you can get most coffee places will do pumpkin spice any time of the year. Yeah, Starbucks yes. has their pumpkin bread all year long. Mm-hmm. So you should be totally fine. All right, so we're going to start scooping it in. I'm gonna do about half of it first and then spread it out. Let me just get that on my spatula. That looks about half. Yeah. Okay. So then, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just kind of hitting all the corners. Spreading it out as smoothly as I can. It's a little bit harder this part of the paper. Hold this up. Or it's Make it slightly challenging to spread it evenly. <laughs> Struggle right now. Okay. Yeah. Kind of. No? Maybe. I just 
feel like I might try this next time without the parchment paper. Maybe just spray it. No, it doesn't need to spray because it's moving off parchment. It's just like. Well, they like spray the pan instead of the parchment paper. Oh, yeah, that's probably what I would do next time. Okay. So then, ooh, actually, I'll use my chicken spoon. I am going to sprinkle my spices on top of the layer, and I'll probably just do about half of the spices. So it's a pretty thick little layer here. Yeah, pretty. You can solid be pretty generous. What we call pretty generous with the spices. Yum. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and layer it again. So add the rest of your pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> pumpkin mixture, your, your pumpkin cinnamon roll bread <laughs> mixture. <laughs> Who knows at this point what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Yum. But I promise you it's worth it. I feel like most breads and loaves take a little bit longer yeah. than cookies or something like that. They definitely do, but they are totally worth it. Because mm -hmm. who doesn't love bread? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. We love all the things in the Happy Camper Kitchen, so. But if you have a favorite bread recipe that you'd like to share with us, comment yeah. below. We'd love to hear it. Or muffins. Ooh, muffins. Or croissant. Yeah. Or any kind of loaves like this. Yeah. We'd love to hear you guys. And don't forget that if you bake this with us, send us your pics or videos on Instagram. Our account. Our account. You know where to find us. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. Um, there may be some opportunities for lots of cool prizes too, so just saying, just saying. We'll see, we'll see what summer holds, I don't know. Just making that up. Okay, this is what mine looks like, and now we're going to do our last round of the spices. Yes. Yeah. I'm coating mine really good on yeah. this. Like you almost can't even see the pumpkin part. It's pretty covered. And I bet if you added cinnamon to it, it would have been good too. Right, because there's no cinnamon in this. It's there just, is in the bread. Not, in, not, the, in, the, oh, yeah, not in the mixture. But right? I bet that would have been really good on top. So cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm gonna pour this last little bit. I'll make sure we all got it all. Okay. Can you show what it looks like? I don't know if you can see. No. There we go. We're going to put it in the oven for about 40, 45 minutes, and then we'll see you soon. All right, everybody. We just took our pumpkin cinnamon roll bread out of the oven. Here it looks. Looks pretty good. I can't wait to try it. Thanks for joining us again today with Cooking with the Errands. We'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, all you cool cooks and campers. Welcome to Cooking with the Errands. Welcome back to breakfast week. So excited to have y'all here. The best week, in my opinion, so far. I love breakfast. Love dinner. breakfast. We both love breakfast. Um, one of our favorite meals of the day. Um, so last, earlier we made quiche, and today, I guess later today, whenever you want to make it, whenever you want to make it today, we are making egg hot crunch cups. They are delicious. So what I've got here, I've got four eggs in a bowl. I've got one cup of cheese, a little bit of minced onion. Now I have a real onion in my kitchen, um, but if you didn't have a real onion and you had um, the minced onion that are in your pantry, that could probably work too. 
and a little bit of garlic salt and hash browns. <laughs> Yum. Okay. Basically, what we're gonna do? I've got my muffin tin. Do we need spray? Oh yeah, spray, spray that. Spray that. I got the hash brown kind of all mixed up. Make sure they're all broken up. We're just gonna basically mix all this together. Cheese, onion, dip it in. Oh, one teaspoon. All right, one teaspoon of garlic salt. We got the egg, the hash brown. I don't have the egg yet. Yum. And the eggs. Ta-da! Now, for those of y'all who joined us last year. <laughs> we have some friends that are on the, on a Zoom call right now, so we have to be a little more quiet than we normally are. Because <laughs> if you remember us from last year, we were very loud. We're really not that quiet. So, and if you're new this year, welcome. We're so happy to see you. Welcome. And my hash browns are still a little frozen. mix all this together and feel free to use the non-frozen ones too might make this part a little bit easier yes yeah those are a little hard it's not too bad though they're starting to break up maybe yeah yeah, yeah. What's y'all's favorite breakfast? Ooh. Comment below. We'd love to hear what y'all like to eat, especially when you're doing breakfast for dinner. And we've kind of stuck with savory so far, but maybe we have a sweet treat coming your way. I don't know. All right, so all that's pretty mixed in. So we're just gonna dump it in the muffin tin. We have the oven preheating at 350 degrees. We'll scoop these in, and then these will only take 30 minutes to make. So. Oh, wow. Let's get started. And it will kind of be, it will be pretty full. And you probably could add any veg, other vegetables, like bell peppers or spinach. Um, yeah. You could add any other spices you'd like to add into it. You could add bacon or sausage or yeah. ham. Um, really make this your own. And if you create it, message it to us on Instagram. We'd love to see what you make for breakfast. For dinner. We'd love to try it too. There we go. And if some of it gets on the pan, just scoop it back in there. <laughs> that was a frozen one. Here we go. Make a mess. It will make a mess, but it's okay. Your pan should be so greased that it should <laughs> just slide right back into the muffin tin. But you can probably go back and add a little bit more in there. I'm gonna put these in the oven and we'll see you back here in 30 minutes. Okay. Alright, Abel, pause. Um, this is the second part, so hopefully you fast forwarded through that part. <laughs> you didn't hear us throw that away, but here we go. We're going to take these out of the oven. All right, guys, so I'm so excited. 
the egg hash brown cups are finally done. It's been 30 minutes. Here we go. You ready to see what they look like?